Hello guys, welcome back to Guitar Tips and in this video we are going to talk about how to fix Warhammer 14,000 bolt gun is crashing issue, it is not launching or won't launch, freezing, stuttering, black screen, low FPS drop and even uh, stuck on loaded screen and how we can fix this up. So let's dive into the workaround. If you're for the first time, don't forget to subscribe and let's move to the first step. First step is actually a basic step that is called you have to restart or start with a simple restart. For that, just click over here on this icon. Now click on this one, go for a simple restart. Once you're done with a simple restart, try launching the game. That might be working you for guys because uh, for many users, when they did a simple restart, you know, if the issue is very minute, that's going to work for you for sure. Or else we'll move to the next step, which is all about we need to go for verify integrity of game file. For that, we just need to click on the game over here. Right click and go to the properties. Now go to local file. Now from here, click on verify integrity of game file. So it's going to take a little bit of time. So what happens is in this step, if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing, all these kind of issues will be fixed by this particular step that is called verify integrity of game file. So right now, as you can see, all 395 files, which is successfully validated and that is all good to go with this. So once you're done with this one, try clicking on the play button and play the game. So uh, that's going to work for you for sure. So you can try with the verify integrity of uh, game file, which is an important step. It is a must for you and you can try this out. Moving to the next one is all about, we need to launch the game from the installation folder. Instead of launching the game from Steam, try launching the game from installation folder is an absolute correct step. So we have two methods. One is a shortcut from the Steam Another one method is we can navigate to the installation folder using file explorer. We can navigate to this using file explorer. So I'll show you both because uh, navigating uh, via the file explorer because down the road we need to know how to navigate to the installation folder using the file explorer method. So the first one open local disk C. Now from here go to program file x86. Keep scrolling down and navigate to steam folder. Now go to steam apps. Now from here go to common. Now from here we need to find the game, okay, just go ahead, go at the top, So from here, just click on the bolt gun. I was searching for Warhammer. That is not the case. Just click on the bolt gun. Now from here, this is the game. That is Warhammer 14,000 bolt gun. Now just launch the game and try to play this. So try launching the game from installation folder instead of launching from the Steam. That is going to work for you. Next one is all about, we need to use the shortcut. That is right click, go to properties, go to local file, click on browse. That will redirect it to this. Now from here, launch the game. So both are fine. Either you can launch the game from the installation folder or you can launch the game from here. That is both the things are fine and that is going to work for you for sure. So try launching from this. Or it's not working, we'll move to the next step. That is all about, we need to run the game as an administrator for we need to navigate to the installation folder. So we will use the shortcut, right click, properties, go to local file, click on browse. Now we we are we are redirecting to this. Now from here, select the application, right click and go to show more options, go to properties, compatibility. Now from here, click on run this program as an administrator, go for apply and go for OK and try to play the game. That is going to work for you for sure as well. Once you're done with this one, just go back and keep in mind there is one more step which I forgot to add. That is for some users, when the run is the game is running on the administrator, did work it. But the same way, there are many people who didn't work it as well. For them, we are showing you one additional step, which is running the game in the compatibility mode. Just right click and go to show more option. Properties, go to compatibility. Now from here, as you can see, under the compatibility mode, click on run this program in compatibility mode. Change it from Windows 7. First set this to Windows 7 and go for apply and go for OK. 
Now change this to Windows 8 as well. Try with Windows 7. If Windows 7 is not working, go for Windows 8. Go for apply and go for OK and try to play the game. For many users, when they try this step, it did work it. So if it's not working and if you're moving to the next step, I request you can make a change over here. That is undo the step that is running the game in the compatibility mode. Keep run this program as an administrator as it is. Go for apply and go for OK and try to play the game and go ahead. Moving to the next step is all about we need to make sure the windows language is english right now as you can see i'm using the i'm the windows is an english language some users might be playing the game in any native language of the windows might be in any native language which is causing the issue so just go over here go to settings now click on time and language now go for language and region over here we have to click on add language so if the language is in any native like uh, japanese chinese etc search for english here and set this to English United States and you, you can uh, launch the game. Once you, the same way, make sure the country or is correct. That is, it should be your geography country because I'm from India. So I have to select the country India. I should not be selecting any other country like Iceland, Hungary, etc. I should be selecting the geographical country where I'm actually situating. Move to the next one. Make sure the date and time is correct. This should be correct. This is actually an additional step. Make sure this is correct. Once you're done with this one, just go back and try to play the game. Next one is all about, we need to launch the game and we have to press Alt and Tab. So click on the play button, but clicking on the play button at the same moment, you have to press Alt and Tab. This is going to work for you for sure. And this did work it for many users in down the road. <coughs> Sorry. So just click on the play button and press Alt and Tab all together from the keyboard that is going to work for you as well. Next one is all about, we need to delete the saved game file. For that, just click over here in the file explorer, go to this PC, go to documents. Now from here, if you find the folder, over here you will be able to find the folder on the game, that is Warhammer. If you find the folder, just delete the folder. And keep in mind, you will be losing all the progressions, but that is fine. Just delete the folder and close everything and go back and try to play the game. Next one is all about, we need to allow the game to Windows security. For that, we just need to go over here in the search, go for control panel. Now click on Windows Defender Firewall. Now from here, go to allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Now from here, we have to keep scrolling down and navigate to uh, Warhammer. We have to keep scrolling down and navigate to Warhammer. So over here, you will be able to find the game. Okay. So uh, you will be able to find the game somewhere over here. If this is not available here, which means like what? Okay, it is there, Warhammer 14,000 Bolt again. So make sure this is checked. You have to check this. And once after checking this, make sure both the private and public is correct. Once, imagine that the game is not here or it is not yet listed. Then we can add it manually. For that, just click on allow another app. Go for browse. Now go to this PC. Go to local disk C. Now from here, go to program file x86. Keep scrolling down and navigate to Steam folder. Now from here, go to Steam apps. Now from here, go to common. Now from here, you have to go to Voltagon at the top. Select this one and add it. So I'll be getting the arrow because it's already added. So this is how you can add it if it's not there. Once you add it, just go back and click on this one and try to play the game. Next one is all about, we need to unplug all the USB devices. That is what you have to do. For that, uh, you might be playing the game with connecting to multiple joystick or might be connected to multiple monitors. If that is the case, you need to remove everything from the USB port because sometimes that can fix a lot of issue. So once you can uh, done with this one, uh, remove everything from the USB port. And once you remove everything from the USB port, click on the play button. And if you wanted to play the game with the controller after the game is successfully launched, just connect back the controller and try to play the game. And this is what you have to do. Moving to the next one is all about, we need to perform a clean boot. For that, we just need to go over here in the search, go for system configuration, go for services, go for disable old and go for apply and go for OK. Sometimes it might ask you for a restart. If that is asking for a restart like this, you can uh, go for restart, but I am here in the middle of video. So I'm going to go for exit without restart. For those who are watching this, you have to go for restart. And once restart is done, successfully launched the game that's going to work for you as well next one we can try with disabling the steam overlay for that we just need to go over here click on this icon over here the right click 
go to properties make sure this is blank that means you have to uncheck this if it is already checked uncheck this now try to play the game by clicking on the play button if that is not working we need to change it as well that is give the commands in the launch option is the next step so we can try with the commands that is dx11 first try with the command dx11 if dx11 is not working change the command to dx12 try with dx11 and try with dx11 sorry i mean dx12 first try with dx11 or you can go for dx12 so try with this so just try with any of these and try to play the game and that's going to work for you as well next one we need to close unnecessary task which is running in the background which is causing one of the main issue for that reason we have to go over here in the task manager right click go to task manager now from here as you can see there are 83 apps which is already running in the background which is causing all these kind of issues like crashing not launching or won't launch freezing and stuttering low fps drop and all these kind of issues so we need to find a solution to this that is if you scroll down we can see discord and many other apps are running over here so discord is one of the reason why we are having crashing issues so discord comes under the category of overlay application so if you find the discord just right click go for end the task and once it will be completely removed and move to the top and if you find anything over here like reva tuner msa afterburn etc which comes under the category of overclocking applications if you find this over here you need to right click and you have to end it up as well once you're done with this one just close now go back and try to play the game this did work good for many users in my knowledge and many people commented in the comment section and said thank you this worked so you can try this out now even after trying all these things still you are having the issue do not worry just watch the next step that is all about we need to run the game on dedicated graphics card for that just go over here in the search go for graphics settings now from here you have to as you can see i have already added many games right now already it's added so same way we need to add the game so just click on the browse now from here go to this pc go to local disc c go to program file x86 keep scrolling down and navigate to steam folder go to steam apps now go to common now from here if you find the bolt gun select this one go for add so once it's added you can see it will be available like this now keep in mind we need to make few changes that click on the option now from here change this to from let windows decide change this to high performance this is actually a very important step change this to high performance and go for save once you save this close everything go back and try to play the game this is very important step this did you have to try that for sure this is an important step so uh, you can try this out once you're done with this one we'll move to the next step that is we need to increase the virtual memory for that just go over here search for view advanced system settings now go for advanced go for settings go to advanced once again go for change and over here make sure this should be blank so that you will be able to select the local disk where the game is installed or you need to mandatory select the local disk where the game is already installed so in my case it is on local disk c so i have to select this one go for custom size give the value for initial size as well as maximum size initial size is 1.5 times the total ram and the maximum size is three times the total ram so go over here in the search go for calculator so i know what is my ram so you have to find your ram once you find the ram multiply your ram with 1024 that is a constant value that brings you 32768 multiply this with 1.5 that brings you 49152 so just paste it over here move into the maximum size multiply 32 gb into 1024 that brings you 32768 so multiply it with 3 that brings you 98,304. So just copy this, paste it as well. And once you're done with this one, go for OK and close this and go back and move to the next one and try to play the game. This is an important step. Increasing the virtual memory did work out for many users and you can try this out as well. Moving to the next one is all about, we need to update the windows. For that, just go over here in the search, go for settings. Now from here, go to windows update make sure windows is up to date and if you're getting any update just update the windows and try to play the game this did work it so restart is a mandatory 
So try. So guys, next tip is all about we need to update the graphics card. So I'll be providing link in the description to both Nvidia as well as AMD. So if you're on the Nvidia, just go over here in this link. So now select your respective one. So here it is. In my case, it is GeForce. And if you find anything over here, select every details. If Windows 11, select Windows 11 or Windows 10. Go for start search. Once you go for start search, you'll be able to get the option like this. Okay, just wait for it. So once you find the respective uh, rolled out, so I have to select this is not there. Okay, so I'll go for this one. Go for start search. Now over here we'll be getting the 531.79, which is a release date of uh, 02 2023. So just download this one and install this on your PC. And once after that, try to play the game. And the AMD, if you're on the AMD, you can go over here, select the graphics. Now select everything over here. Now go to this one and go for submit. And if you find Windows 11, select this one and download this one. If you're on Windows 10, you have to download this one as well. So once download Windows 11 or Windows 10 and try to install it on your PC and try to play the game. And the restart is mandatory when you're installing both the graphics card. It is an important one. Try it with that. And even after trying, if it's still not working, we have one more step. That's called installing the Microsoft Visual C++. So I'll be providing link in the description. Now from here, just download this one. Download x64. Download this one on your PC and install it and do a restart and try to play the game. Most probably after trying all these things, the issue has to be fixed or it's still not working. Then make sure we need to go for uh, this one that is called uninstall the game and reinstall the game back. For uninstalling, just right click, go to manage, uninstall the game. For reinstall it back, we have to do like this. That's all we have to do is just go over here and reinstall back. But keep in mind, you should not be installing back on the same local disk. Try changing the position of local disk and try to play the game. These are the possible things which you have to try out when you're having an issue with this one. And I hope this video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notifications. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.